Now picture this. How about an event that promotes literacy and reading and combines burlesque and banned books? Confused? Well, we were too. But our next <laughs> guest from the literary organization, Wordier Than Thou, hosts out-of-the-box literary events, including the banned book Burlesque. And back with us to talk more about this is Tiffany Rosano, who is joined by Maven, Misbehaven, and Nella Bean. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good. Well, I was going to say, I, uh, we were joking. I was going to wear the same, one of those dresses today, and that would have been awkward if we would have been right. matching, right? Very strange. Well, we appreciate you bringing some color to the set today. And Tiffany, I mean, how in the world is a literary event and burlesque being combined into one? Well, we really just like to keep things weird <laughs> with, uh, with wordier than thou. Um, it, you know, Banned Books Week is uh, something that happens to, uh, every year the last, last week of September, um, and it's really just a, a celebration of, of banned publications and kind of, you know, that idea of like the freedom to read what you want to read. And uh, we do these just fun, really engaging events, and I've wanted to do something for Banned Books Week for a while, and I was like, well, subversive publications and scantily clad women seem to make sense going together, and I just happen to be friends with the... Uh, with uh, Maven here and uh, classy she was, ladies yeah. is what she's trying to say. Uh, absolutely, very classy. Oh, I, I was going to say. I mean, wordier than now. First, let's talk about the organization <laughs> though itself. I mean, wordier than now. You guys do try to promote literacy. How are you able to do that? Um, well, the, our whole thing is to draw in people who wouldn't typically go to a literary event. Uh, we really, as I said, we like to keep it fun. We like to keep it outside the box and engaging. And um, I, I can't tell you how many times we've put on an event where I've had somebody tell me, I didn't even realize I was at a reading. I didn't even realize I was at a literary event. Um, a lot of times, it, the literary community is very insular, and you kind of see the same folks going to the kind of more like literature with the class, uh, with a capital L kind of events, where it's just, you know, you're reading to the same authors and you're same friends and your, mm -hmm. you know, same folks in the community over and over again. But, you know, if, if you want to sell your books, you need to kind of branch out and uh, find new people who maybe don't even know that these really talented authors exist in our community. I was saying, I love that. That's the key. They exist in the community. And I was saying, we're going to bring, I mean, Maven, we've had a lot of fun. I'm sure you can tell already. We're having fun here in the set. <laughs> Maven, why did you want to get involved? I mean, you're a burlesque dancer anyways. And now to combine it with Tiffany here, talk about the relationship and the performance. Honestly, it just makes sense, like peanut butter and jelly, because <laughs> of the fact of the banned books and burlesque, both being very, you know, you have to be very careful with both of those subjects because... You know, throughout history, burlesque has also had its issues, and people still to this day don't completely agree with the art form, even though it's been around for ages. So we decided combining the two with my friend Tiffany here <laughs> would be an excellent idea. Well, and I want to talk a little bit about the burlesque. Yeah. I mean, Nilabine, what have you been able to bring to this? I mean, from a burlesque <laughs> history standpoint to this event. Um... More sparkle. No. <laughs> yes. Lots more sparkle. Um, when I first moved here, Amanda was, I'm sorry, Maven was one of the first people that I met in the community. Edit that out. And <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the first people I met in the community. And we're just so lucky here in Florida that burlesque has come back so much more than, say, other parts of the country. I moved from New England. And it's, it's around, but in Florida, we have a great group of women and men that we get to perform with. We Weekly, like a lot of us are booked multiple times a week, and it's just wonderful because you get to perform your art, have a great time, and the audience is just so into it. And again, they're getting to do it now to uh, to promote some of the banned books and also promote those local authors. Well, thank you all so much for coming in today. We want to make sure and get out the event details right there. The Banned Books Burlesque Show, Thursday, September 22nd. Barley Mow Brewing in Largo. There's your ticket prices. And is there a website or how can people get tickets? Uh, they can go to the Wordier Than Now uh, website. So it's just www.wordierthannow.com. Good stuff. Best of luck. Hope it's a success. I'm sure it will be. Thank you again. And coming up in the blend, we are.